coach has got a short video that I'm going to share tonight. Uh, we're putting 94 back in our insertion list. Uh, two things were, were I, I was stubborn. I was going a four day insertion, but I'm going back to the original three day insertion. So that means we're basically dropping one play in each category. We were just with, with four plays in each category. We, we were practicing a lot more offense than we were using by going to three days. It's forcing me to really, uh, really pick and choose uh, what was successful, what was productive, uh, what was easy for us, uh, with, with the emphasis being on uh, those three things. What was easy, what was productive, and, uh, and what was explosive. So uh, that, that's what's happening right now as we prepare to head into spring ball, which we've got about three weeks before we get to spring ball. And, uh, and we're really you know, focused in on, on uh, cutting the offense down and, and just getting things that are high high percentage for us and easy for our quarterback. So that gets us to this video. Uh, 94 Y sale has always been a huge part of the offense, uh, but it hasn't been that big a part of the offense for me. There's been many years I didn't have it in at all. Uh, you know, Mike Leach, uh, you know, he, he made a living on 94, loved it, loved it out of trips, loved it out of two by two. Uh, and I'm kind of combining uh, a couple things that happened to us last year. We we put we we put 95 back in the system last year, but we did it the way Shane Doolar does it, where we were reading the safety for the for the skinny post, and uh, depending on what that safety did, that's how the progression worked out. And we're going to do the same thing. We're basically just mirroring that concept and using it for 94. So now 95 would attack the left side of the field. 94 would attack the right side of the field. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw it up. I almost did this old school and got on the whiteboard, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to draw it up on here. Uh, let me share this right here. We're here, here, here's my art, art right here. All right. So we're using the exact same concept that we use for 94. So we're starting on the right side. Our number one read is the skinny post, and he is not going to crash the, uh, cross the hash. Uh, the Y is doing a 10 yard speed cut out, which might drift to 12. The F is doing a play action where he's coming across. If he doesn't have to pick up pass protection, he's running a shoot route over here. The H is running a shallow this way, and he becomes number three on the play side. And the X is running the post curl, which uh, there's a great tag on that. So how would we, what's the progression? Progression is number one. We're looking skinny post every single time. If this H sits or steps forward, we're launching the skinny post for a touchdown. And we had a high level of success with this last year on 95. Uh, if, if the H, if the free safety backs up, he then goes high to low. So he goes down to number two on the sale. And we've got a, a tall, uh, really good young Y uh, that, that's going to be here for us. He's about 6'3", a uh, great target. And then the shallow becomes number three. If he reads it all the way across, he'll go four on the curl and then five on the on the running back out, leaking out. All right. Now, just like on 95, we could call uh I think I think we call this 94 week. I'm trying to remember back. It's been about 15, 20 years since we had this in, but I think we would call 94 weeks. So this play is 94 to us. So when we, we install it in the spring, it's going to be automatic play action. He's going to, he's going to give it a fake. He's going to take his drop. His eyes are going to be on the free right out the gate from, he's never putting his eyes on the running back as he rides it. His eyes are on the free safety. We can call 94 week. If he does that, then he's still peaking the free safety. It will still take that that touchdown shot, but then it will come back and go two to three. And uh, we really like the guys that are running these post curls. And here's the beauty of it. How are, how are they going to do this? Well, most likely, or what, what happened on 95 last year was occasionally they would try to run this free safety down to cover this guy, and they would roll this other safety across to try to handle the post. Well, 
easy tag. If if this if if we catch it in the box, it's a box call. If we catch this free safety running across the field, we just tag the skinny post on this side, and now you have a, an easy touchdown on the backside. So a great that probably the first tag that goes in is the skinny post to the X on this example. If we're talking 95, it'd be the skinny post on the on the Z. So so this is 94. Uh, a little bit different than the way Leach runs it, but like I said, we're just mirroring the way we ran 95 last year. It was a very productive play. As a matter of fact, I was talking to my quarterback the other day. 95 was his favorite pass last year, so this is this is just a, a carbon copy to the to the right side. So now 94 is automatic play action. When we're in Tennessee uh with coach mummy and stan bedwell uh both of them said that one of their one of their favorite plays coming off the goal line like when you're backed up is play action 94 like that was a go-to play for them so now we're just doing it all the time now they they like to run the vert uh, out of z and tag the post but because of the way we read it uh, the the Z catches the ball as much as as anyone on this play, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep the skinny post as the number one read and and read that free safety. So that's it. Uh, got a couple exciting things happening. We're uh, we're gonna start producing some of the short videos. Uh, we uh, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm if you'd wait about a month on the Coach Tube course. Let me get out of this on the Coach Tube course. Uh, I'm going to upload our two, our 2022, uh, drill video. So I got probably, uh, about 30 minutes worth of video all cut up into different things that we, we got from this year off the drone. Uh, if you've already got, if you already bought the course, you, you'll just get it. It'll just show up there. But if you haven't bought the course yet and you've been thinking about it, hold off for about a month and and uh let me get that that video uploaded on there and then buy the course because it's it's uh really good stuff uh and we moved uh we've created a uh a uh championship culture uh channel on youtube so now we're going to put all the championship culture videos over there and i'm thinking about changing the format a little bit i kind of stalled out on that thing uh i'll still i'll still invite head coaches on to do the podcast but i think i'm going to do some shorter stuff uh just where i'm telling you how we do it that that seems to be what people like to hear is you know how how do we how do we install the culture so that's what's going on i uh, appreciate you watching the video as soon as i get uh, some cuts some some video shots of this from the spring i'll i'll upload it but i'm really excited about uh, going back to the future and putting 94 back in the in the uh, in the insertion. Thank you, coaches.